Hi, Max. How are you? Hi, good to meet you. Good to meet you, too. I'm Ariana with a fresh pair of eyes. Hey, Ariana. How are you doing? Hi. Are you in the States? You in LA? I'm in the States. I'm in Detroit, Michigan. So the state okay. that looks like a minute. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Must be colder there than it is here. I'm in Canada. It's cold. It's yeah. so it's about probably about the same as Canada. We're right next to Canada, actually. Yeah, I am. Yeah. But why did you decide to join this project? Um, I've never made a holiday movie before, a Christmas movie before, and um, it just seemed like a fun new kind of challenge to, um, um, you know, take on a, a project that was all about kind of bringing an immense amount of, of charm and goodwill into one film for a holiday season, um, you know, that uh, is meant to be uplifting. And, uh, you know, I, I've certainly been drawn to darker projects in the past, and this just seemed kind of a challenge that I wanted to see what I could make of it. So. Yeah. Yeah. How was it like to film a Christmas movie when it was not Christmas time at all? I was talking to Jamie and she was like, yeah, it was warm outside. Oh, yeah, it was very warm. I think that's kind of standard, I suppose, because I, I guess they filmed them all kind of in the summer or spring. Um, a lot of fake snow, uh, which apparently is just shredded diaper. I found out that makes the best fake snow. I didn't oh. know. That. It's really cool. Uh, and then a lot of, you know, really heavy parkas and we were filming, you know, really warm spot in Canada at the time in Ottawa. And it, it was, uh, I mean, probably 90 in Fahrenheit, 90 plus degrees a lot of the days. So really sticky and humid. And then having to, you know, act cold at that time, uh, you know, when when you, you're perspiring and, and trying not to, uh, you know, get overheated outside was, was a fun challenge. Luckily there was plenty of air con, but uh, yeah, there were fun, some funny challenges when we'd have like maybe some civilians walk to a shop by accident and we would always have to restart because they'd be in shorts and a t-shirt and the rest of the, the cast and background would be in, you know, parkas and, and snow pants. So yeah, that was, that was, that was pretty comical at times. <laughs> yeah. So Prince Raymond, your character hates be, hates putting put, be put in a box and is trying to find his own way. Can you relate to that at all? <laughs> sure. I think every actor can probably relate to that. Um, I think uh, we spent a lot of our careers trying to forge our own path and not be seen as just you know maybe one thing which is I understand it's easier from a let's say a casting or a, you know a creative standpoint like oh that person you know makes makes the most sense for these roles so we'll just keep them there and a lot of us I think we're always trying to fight to break out of that and be seen you know for the different sides of ourselves so I certainly related to this character with that in mind yeah yeah what was your favorite scene to shoot? Hmm. Um, there's a scene where there's a big, actually, no, I say this scene. So we filmed a scene that was meant to be on top, on a rooftop, you know, in New York and uh, not too many super big high rises in, in Ottawa where we filmed. So I think what we did was we filmed in an ice rink and built, they built a set deck, built a beautiful, you know, basically top of a New York skyscraper or, or hotel kind of look. Uh, and then in the middle of this ice rink and then a green screen around it to, you know, emulate the city. Uh, and then we had a, you know, a, a dinner scene there with snow and snow falling and everything. So it's quite funny just being inside an ice rink and then, and then it meant in the top of a building. And it was a pretty comical scene. It's a, a, a dinner essentially that, that, that goes wrong. Um, and that was my first day on set actually working with, with Mina and Madeleine. So that was a, that was a fun intro to the project. That's funny because like your characters are supposed to have like a lot of chemistry and tension at like during that scene and the fact that you're just like, oh, hey, I'm Max. Yeah. Let's get this going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the fun part about this biz is you just get thrown into it with the people and you have to, you know, create a story and tension that, uh, you know, can't really be naturally there yet because you've just met the people. So um, I kind of like that. It's a fun challenge. You know, you get to basically create relationships from scratch with people. Yes. And what character do you think you relate to most? It doesn't have to be Prince Raymond. <laughs> um, I actually probably do relate to him most, not, not necessarily because of, you know, the royalty aspect, but um you know, he's from a foreign land. I was born in England and raised in Canada and, you know, always felt a little bit out of fish out of water with that. And then, you know, this character having an English accent as well. Uh, I was, I had an English accent until I was, you know, probably 10, 12 years old and was, was teased for it a lot. So, you know, I kind of related to that and then wanting to, 
you know, step away from what, what you know, and, and I moved to the States for a while and, and um, had to kind of build myself there. So I relate to this character in that regard as well. And um, yeah, trying to basically forge a new image from yourself from, um, you know, maybe what uh, you were raised to be and create something new. So yeah, I related to him in that regard. It's funny that like you're from London, but you're not because one of my questions was going to be like, how is Christmas different than in London? And you're probably uh, like, I don't know. I, I'm from Canada. But yeah. how is Canada <laughs> Christmas different from the States if it is at all? I don't know if it's that different. I mean, I guess one thing growing up, if we went to church, we'd go to Anglican church, which I don't even think exists in the States. That's the Church of England, which is the Canadian. I think in the States, it's Presbyterian is kind of the closest. Mm -hmm. So as a kid, you know, we wouldn't go to church often, but we went, when we went on Christmas and Easter, it would be that. So that's the only thing I can think of. Um, it would be that different. Uh, my dad's German as well. So we would eat some funny German treats. Germans do Christmas on a whole other level. So, okay. you know, that's a lot of, um, a lot of pomp. Um, but we'd have this, this funny Christmas pudding. that's like a German specialty that we do every year. And uh, that's, that's as different as I think I, I've ever had it from the States. But no, I've never had, I've never had Christmas in England uh, or abroad. It's only been, I think, here in America. So, yeah. Okay. Why do you think people are so into Christmas movies these days? And especially when you add that dash of royalty, it's just like <laughs> chef's kiss. Like, this is what people want. Why do you think people are so into it? Yeah, it's funny. When I heard of this project, it was like, tell me I'm playing a prince from a made up kingdom. And they're like, that's what you're playing. <laughs> like oh yes that's the trifecta um well, I think I'm just you know I remember as a kid growing up it was a a time when like you'd have the holidays from school let's say so you know families all together snowing outside so it'd be snowball fights or um you know skiing or whatnot and uh it was a time when I think it, it just forces families to come together when there aren't as many distractions and so you're forced to spend time together and, and that's a nice thing and um you know it's getting away from all the distractions of modern life. And I, I think Christmas movies really tap into that, that feeling of uh, wanting to belong and, and also to be a part of, you know, I think in our culture, we don't have a whole lot of milestones left that we really all celebrate together. You know, there's a lot of obviously different holidays that everyone celebrates separately, but Christmas is something that usually, you know, most people will at least celebrate in some regard, regardless of, you know, say religious denomination and come together and, and um, you know, value the, the songs and the food and, just the obviously the decorations and everything it, it's a I think it's like a you know a cornerstone that brings people from very different backgrounds all all together and so I think that's probably why people tap into it and why there's obviously you know very many Christmas films that are made every year um so I'm happy to be a part of them this year yeah what is one of your or a couple of your favorite Christmas movies I think just by far, uh, Love Actually, I think is, is probably my favorite movie. Jamie said that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it's a lot of people's, you know. I have, you know, British parents and ha having been born there as well, I think maybe I relate to a bit more. And um, yeah, just the uh, the humor of it, I think is just brilliant and how they intersect all the different stories. And this film kind of reminded me of that in a, little, in, in a few ways. So there's many different characters that all come together in different ways, um, especially towards the end of the film, so. Um, yeah, I'd say that's that's my favorite. The holiday is probably a close second. That's good fun. Um, Bad Santa. I'm not sure how much of a Christmas movie that is, but I'm it's got Santa saying. in it. I guess it is. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Uh, do you have a favorite Christmas song? Ooh, Silent Night count. That's yeah. Christmas ish, right? Yeah, I always like that one. You know. Yeah, I'd say that. You talked a little bit about your um, Christmas traditions. Do you have kind of like a favorite? You mentioned kind of the food. What's probably like one of your favorite gifts that you've gotten for Christmas before? Favorite gifts? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> um, I was backpacking when I was 18 and I went around the world for a year and I was in India for my, for Christmas. And my mom actually came and, traveled with me for about two weeks and we went to this um small little vacation town in india together and i, I think i spent it like whole, you know uh, curled over a toilet with with um freaking uh you know food poisoning half the time but it was really cool that my mom came and visited me in this in this 
small Indian village that we ended up in. It was pretty fun. So yeah, I would say that was a pretty great gift. And obviously very memorable. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. Well, butter chicken you. has been ruined for life for me. <laughs> oh, for sure. Hmm. But uh, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Congrats on this movie. And I hope to talk to you about future projects. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.